Hi, I'm Lauren English, Licensed Professional Counselor and Business Development Representative with Pinnacle Point Hospital. Happy to be back on Wellness Wednesday. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to set boundaries respectfully. This can be a topic that might be uncomfortable, especially if you have some people-pleasing tendencies or you have a hard time sticking up for yourself or maybe you just don't like to have conflict in your life, period, or confrontation. I think many people can relate to that. But there's a way that we can set boundaries um, in order for us to live happier, um, more stress-free, and feel like we're being true to ourselves. Um, boundaries are our own personal limits on how people can treat us or behave around us, and they help us protect our time and our energy to keep us from feeling depleted. And I know many of you may be feeling that right now. Uh, there's a lot going on around us. We've been through a lot in the past 18 months, working through this pandemic and navigating how to live life, worrying about our loved ones and how to protect them and to keep ourselves safe. And maybe there's been a difference of opinion in whether or not to take the COVID-19 vaccine. I know that's been a big discussion among people right now. And maybe even within your own families, there's some discord going on about this topic. And... Um, it can even become heated at times. And a lot of us might not know how to reply or even begin to have that conversation. So if you're finding yourself experiencing anything like this, I hope that this can be helpful for you in the future if you need a way to set a boundary respectfully. I'm gonna give you some examples today and I hope that whenever the situation arises, these can be helpful for you. So the first example I wanna uh, let you know is it's okay if you disagree with me, but I expect you to treat me with respect. Simple as that. I think a lot of times in our um, society today, we have a hard time remembering that not everybody's gonna think exactly like you, but that's okay and that's their right. We still have to be able to treat each other with respect. So if you find yourself in a scenario where you're being disrespected and you feel like the conversation's taking a lot out of you, just say that simple phrase. It's okay for you to disagree with me, but I expect you to treat me with respect. That's a way to let them know that that's something you're not gonna tolerate in the future. Next, this is not a topic I wanna discuss right now, and I hope that's all right with you. Maybe it's just not going anywhere, maybe it's not solving anything, and it's reached a point where you feel like it's not helpful to continue to have that conversation, so if you can say something like that, that can be really beneficial and you're letting them know that's not something you want to continue to talk about and you hope it's all right with them. You hope your relationship can be strong enough to survive that. Next, saying you are in kind of a heated argument or discussion with somebody, simply say, please do not speak to me in that tone. That's a way to let them know that's a boundary that they've crossed and that's not something you will tolerate. And then maybe you're getting invited to something and you really feel like you have to go, but there's just really no way you can. Maybe you're too busy. Maybe you feel like adding one more, more thing to your plate would completely deplete you. Or maybe you just don't feel comfortable with the way things are right now with our high case numbers. Um, you could say, thank you for the invite, but I won't be able to make it this time. Simple as that. I hope these examples have been helpful for you today and I look forward to seeing you for the next Wellness Wednesday.